What advice do you have for spas that are already really busy, but they've kind of reached that threshold where they really can't take on much more business with their schedule as a one location spa? Yeah, there's there's a lot that goes into that. But the other folks that you've you've mentioned there, they're correct. The, if if they're booked out six months and you can't get anyone in, how are you going to grow? That, that'd be my question to them. How can you possibly grow your practice? Um, you know, why are you hiring Ricky to do your marketing? Uh, why do you need marketing at this point? If you're doing so well, it sounds like you're on autopilot. So it then comes back to what I mentioned earlier. What do you want to be? What do you want to do? If your focus is on just maintaining a nice lifestyle and having a busy practice, then I, I say just keep doing what you're doing. And yeah, you're not going to get new patients, but that's a decision that you've made. If you decide that I don't want to expand my physical footprint, but I'd like to make more money, you raise prices. And what's going to happen is that you will lose some customers on the lower end that, that are a little more price sensitive. You'll maintain those that want to stick with you, but now you'll have room for some new patients. Your margins will go up. If that's not appropriate for you and you don't feel like, well, my patients won't pay for pay more for services, well, that's when you look for additional physical space and additional providers. So that's a leap that a lot of injectors and a lot of providers have a, a tougher time with for a, a myriad of issues is that they're they're good at doing what they do. They're good at injecting or they're good at firing their laser or, or doing surgery. Uh, they're not adept at running businesses and really not sure what to do in terms of hiring and creating job descriptions and training people because there's a lot of money that goes into that. 